Good evening and welcome to this evening's equity market wrap. My name is Lisa Pallavi Barbara. It was another volatile and uh, flat day for equity markets as both the BSE Sensex and uh, Nifty closed with only very marginal gains. The Sensex finished at around 21,753 and the Nifty was up to around uh, 6,493. Uh, in fact, the focus has really shifted towards the mid cap part of the market. Um, uh, today, the BSE mid cap index was up as much as around 0.8%. For the week as well, if you see the BSE Sensex and Nifty finished with the marginal losses, uh, but it's the mid cap index which stood out. The BSE mid cap index was up around 1.7%. So that's where all the action has shifted to. If you look at broader market indices, uh, there is uh, some amount of movement there. The BSE realty index, which was uh, down yesterday, was the biggest gaining index today, up around 1.8%. Uh, On the other hand, oil and gas stocks continue to uh, fall, and that index was down around 1.9% today. Coming to individual stocks, Axis Bank was in focus as the government has managed to divest 9% stake in the bank. Uh, the stock was down sharply at the start of trade. However, it uh, made up those losses and finally finished around 2.7% uh, up. Also, another bank in the news was Canada Bank for announcing uh, fundraising of around 1,000 uh, crores through bonds. Uh, that stock was up in the start of trade but finally finished pretty much flat. Infosys 2 was in the news once again for a senior management exit. Uh, the stock, however, uh, was pretty much flat today. Coming to the Sensex names, uh, metals were the top gainers. Tata Steel was up around 3.6%. Uh, also, uh, Hindalco gained around 3% and Wipro was up around 3% today. Uh, at the bottom of the pile, it was ONGC, which fell around 2.6% and Reliance, which was down around 2.2%. Experts are suggesting that the markets may remain volatile uh, till we, uh, uh, you know, and keep reacting to the, infl uh, to the election expectations for the next uh, two months or so. That's all from me. Do log on to livemin.com for more details. Thank you.